All right. Hey guys and girls. Uh, wait, let me move my glasses real quick. Um, welcome to my tutorial on <coughs> Pike. Um, I actually do have a tutorial already on Pike. Uh, it's included in my Pike Hansen Nike tutorial um, in my freezes section on my channel. However, it some people felt like it wasn't helpful enough, so I'm gonna dedicate a whole tutorial just for Pike. And um, I think that's about it. So before I start teaching, I'm gonna go show you guys what it looks like. So here's Pike. <coughs> I didn't feel like that was good enough, so... And so, yeah, that's what you guys are going to be learning. It's really simple. A lot of people say you need handstands first. Um, I got this before I got an adequate handstand, meaning I got pike before I was able to hold handstand for like 10 seconds, you know, like the... like an actual handstand. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say you don't need handstands before you start this. Um, there's, there's no way of getting around it, um, of your fear of pike, because, I mean, it's scary. It's scary enough to be on one hand when you first start, but it's also scary to be on top of your shoulder. Meaning, you know, pike isn't like, like that. Uh, you have to be actually on top of your shoulder, so you actually go and reach your leg. So you go on top of your shoulder. Um, so I'm going to start off by saying that for step one. Uh, what you want to start doing is just being able to do this and get on top of your shoulder. You don't necessarily have to bend your legs yet. You don't have to turn your chest like I'm going to tell you to later. Just make sure you're getting on top of your shoulder. Not you're on your side. You're actually getting on top. So that's the first step. You go ahead and get on top of your shoulder. You go here. Get on top of your shoulder. And from here, this is where things start to get tricky. You're going to go ahead and get on top of your shoulder and look up. Look, like, up. Because if you don't look up, your chest won't turn. <coughs> so, there, this is where a lot of people get afraid because they're not comfortable with their body getting in this position. But what you want to do is, you get here, look up. Um, as you look up, you're going to make sure you flex your shoulder because it puts a little bit of strain on your shoulder, but you'll get used to it. So, once you get on top of your shoulder, you go ahead and look up. So again, you're going to go down, look up. Now, after you get, start getting comfortable looking up, you're going to start to bend in. So you go ahead and look up, bend in. So what I mean by that is, you get on top of your shoulder, look up, bend in. Don't worry about grabbing your legs just yet, because, you know, it's not really necessary. You don't even need to grab your foot. Uh, a lot of people do it as with their, like, hands between their legs. Um, but, you know, it's whatever you want to do. However, um, once you get to this stage, you're going to realize maybe, oh, I can't hold it that long because all I have is this. You go ahead and go and do that. Uh, a trick to how I hold it longer um, than when I first started is I committed to it and I made sure I wasn't afraid of falling backwards. So what I mean by that is as you fold in, like for your pike, you make sure you go all the way through. So what I mean by that is, you go here, pull, sorry about that, <clears throat> you go here, pull in, and you go, you go, make sure you go where your feet are going, and just fall over like that. So make sure you're going all the way around so you know you're not afraid of tipping forward or back. And as you start going more forward, you'll get a feeling of, uh, of when you initially go here, and go onto your hand, you'll know how, how, if you're pushing too much or pushing too little. So as you practice going over, you'll get a feeling of what's the perfect amount of balance you need. So just practice that, and you'll eventually get to hold it longer. Um, uh, holding a pike for like four or five seconds, I mean, I've done that before, but again, it's not something that comes like, like the next day. It's something that you actually have to work on, and um, I'm going to say it right now, like, it requires like a little bit of luck, because it's, to hold it longer uh, for four or five seconds, like an actual one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four, that takes quite a lot of skill. Victor Kim's done it, um, uh, but again, you see the title, Lucky at Rehearsal, um, I mean, I've done it before, but again, 
I'm gonna say again, it's luck. I get it every so often. And yeah, so what we learned in the tutorial, tutorial is you get on top of your shoulder, and after you start getting on top of your shoulder, you start looking up, and as you start looking up, you go bend in. But then a part that I might have skipped now that I just went through it is when you go to get on your hand and you get on top of your shoulder, start looking up. As you look up, you bring your chest up with you. So you go here, chest up. So you go ahead and go look up. You're going to do that sort of motion. You're going to bring your chest and your head at the same time so you have maximum like ability to fold in like that. So you're going to go here, look up, and do whatever. Um, and that's about it. Um, as you can see, pike doesn't take too long. It's just a matter of fear. And again, what I said about fear is just make sure you really get on top of your elbow or you get on top of your shoulder. Practice going through through with it, like, like that. Um, and you'll eventually get it. Uh, pike is like, I would say, 60-70% um, getting over your fear and the last 30% just practice. So make sure you practice and eventually you'll get it and so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Tumblr because I'm a social networking whore and deuces! Ugh.